Uh, so what happened? Where, how did karma get you? What really what happened? happened was yesterday I was invited to play paintball with him. Oh, oh. you love paintball. Yeah, it's by the movie Free Fire, which is what having is a show at South by Southwest. It is kind of an arms deal gone wrong and has all these awesome people in it, like Charlotte Copley Ooh, from love District him. 9, Army Hammer Ooh, from love him. lots the of stuff. The Social, Social Network. Social Network. Yeah. Is, yeah. Here with nice beard. Thank Sorry, you. I uh, I disagree, but it's kind of a, a bet with myself at the moment that I'm not shaving it. So uh, I am writing a book, and so uh, from the first day I started writing, I haven't shaved till I'm finished with the first draft. That's a so cool what, idea. What are you a few months in? I am four months in. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so nice. Nice. we're. How's it coming? Hopefully days away, actually. From finishing the book? Yeah. Do you feel like you'll shave right away, or do you kind of feel like you'll miss it? I My fiancé feels like I'll shave right away. And you? She, uh, I'll, I'll shave it down. You're I'm, like, I feel like whatever my fiancé feels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah basically so. Yeah. Basically so. Thank you, Charlto, for totally destroying me in paintball a couple minutes ago. <laughs> that was fun. I uh, still have my work clothes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got lucky. I got the good, uh, the good shooters on my team. He's brutal. He looked at my team and was like... And was savagely just went over to the and other joined team. the other team. Oh, let's like, you bunch of losers. Yeah. You're not going to be any good. Yeah, thanks for rubbing it in. Um, <laughs> it was it was not close. Uh, between oh, the two it, was, teams. it was really <laughs> over <laughs> much quicker than I thought it was. Gonna now be. I wish I would have been there. Dude, yeah. it was. I was like, is everyone dead? They're like, yes. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, he, he kept running around filming things. I think just to rub it in a little bit. But, yeah. Uh, but that's fine. It was, uh, the it was fun. Of cinema. Yeah. Obviously, awesome. his, his shooting training for the movie paid off well. Yeah, and he's gun trained for like four or five movies well, now. He's, so he... Well, also from South Africa, where it's very dangerous, <laughs> and probably from a young age, he's been trained to shoot people. So I did interview him afterward. Now, both of you have had uh, a lot of shooting experience in your films in the past. Did you do any kind of special training for this film, or were you both just walking to set like, look, I got this. I've done it all before. Well... I mean, he's incredible with weapons, and I had done quite a bit of training, but my thing with Vernon was to make him not competent, okay. really. You know, like, more, like, mentally... Hilarious and, and, so. You know, so, so I was sort of working against training. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but he's incredible. Because Shrub- so Shrub- you know, has got but the technical really knowledge good. and the tactical sort of, like, know-how to where, if you actually put him in the situation, he would fare much better than anybody else in the situation, honestly. From no, all other than this guy. Uh, he, he's the guy that you want, seriously. But like, no bullshit. But Shalto was able to make Vernon this character where it's like, and we all know this person who thinks he knows so much about this thing, and then you're like, no, what are you doing? If you two got into a, a shootout against each other, who do you think would win in real life? We got into a duel yesterday for Did a you? thing, and he shot me in the back. He won. <laughs> Shalto won. True, but that was as he's Vernon. Got, by the way, he's got the killer instinct. That's what, that's, that? what'll, that's what will actually make Shelter the victor. He's got the killer instinct. Shooting in the back, that's brutal. I know. I know that's what it takes that's to win. That's probably true what that's you what say. It, that's I think what it takes to win a gunfight. He's skilled, but I probably do have the... Cunning. You're devious. Twisted. No, yeah. I would just have the... The will to survive? The menta- yeah. The, the eye of the tiger? to actually do it. Like, I don't know, growing up in South Africa, I'd sort of Oscar Pistorius him. Is that a term now? By the way, he would, yeah. he would I, I have zero question that if it actually came down to like a matter of survival, he'd shoot me through a door. For sure. And by the way, that, to his credit, would make him win the fight. I had to shoot him in the back. He was totally going to kill me. <laughs> I did have a strategy. It was the only way. I did have a strategy. It was the only way yeah. to beat him. Yeah. He's so good with I was going to Andrew all the Jackson. Guys. I think it was Andrew Jackson who had a duel where... Uh, as soon as they spun, he stayed on his feet, but he moved his body and like crouched, oh, and the wow. shot missed, and then he had the time to take his shot. He's learning from history But by the way, here. it really cost him a political future because they were like, he cheated, but he won. Because the guy insulted his wife, I think it was. Is that what you were going to do? That's what I was going to do. So much for the cunning and the action. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was going to dodgy, do yeah. something dodgy right. to get me. By the way, you just out-dodged That's, me. T- exactly. And which still makes you the victor. Dude, still makes you the victor. That was, that was actually a very good move. To I was gonna crouch and then let yeah, you yeah, miss and then and take my time and shoot. That's great. Yeah. And I get up to get to the other side of the bench to take a picture with them. A huge junk hole rips <laughs> right in the front of my pants. So was it a was it an audible junk hole rip? It, did it, they see it? Like they did not say anything. And I did I was not ready to make eye contact.